Hello. Who's Hello. Looking? Good afternoon, doctor. How okay. are you doing? Uh -huh. Who's the young one there? That's his sister. And this one. Oh, okay. Is everything been okay? No issues, huh? Yes, it's been fine. Okay. No. Uh, it's been doing good. All my stone is checked and uh, becoming naughty, very active, wants to climb everything. And the ammonia is fine. Huh? It's never been a problem. Ammonia, I think we, we tested. The child is absolutely fine. Okay. Well, that's great. Great outcome. And the Dopplers are okay. Everything yeah. is everything is fine, Prof. I think parents are taking care uh, sort of quite meticulously. Each and every small thing, they, they contact us. And immunosuppression? As on tacrolimus, okay. uh, low tacrolimus and steroid. How much and level are you running? Do you, you remember? Last level was the around, levels are around between two to three usually. Okay. No, no, I think that's mm -hmm. enough. I think two to three is fine. See, the only thing that you need to remember is as a child grows older, the dose gets less. Yeah. Because a child is likely to become double the size, you'd still be giving the same dose. Yes, that yes. would be half. Do you understand? Um, he's falling sick less often since his dose has come down. In fact, he's had a very good stint timing. Okay. Last one year almost. Okay. Urea cycle defect is a metabolic liver disease where the children are born with a defect in the liver. The metabolic abnormality is actually based within the liver and they manifest themselves from birth itself. Now, the child on whom we did a liver transplant uh, is called Aryan and uh, they diagnosed urea cycle defect immediately after birth following an episode of uh, convulsions, fits. And uh, once the diagnosis was made, the definitive treatment is only a liver transplant and they came um, to Chennai and the child, uh, when the child came to us, uh, the child was one month old and it's now two years now and the child is doing extremely well. The child does not have any underlying metabolic abnormality, eating normally, all kinds of food, growing well and the child is very active now. And that is the youngest child to have a liver transplant in India. Earlier, the first feeling was that something like this cannot I mean, this seems unreal. Is it a bad dream or, you know, I mean, we never thought because fortunately we've been in a very protected, uh, have been living a very protected life. Never have both the parents on both the sides have been good health and, you know, all, all have been pretty uh, decent and, uh, uh, but yeah, so when it happened, the first thought was this is unreal and not true and it's a bad dream. But then uh, when it hit us, we knew that the, we had to start taking some actions and, you know, we have to start taking things in our hand. Yeah. That whatever the problem is, we need to somehow find a solution and yeah. Uh, yeah. get in the best medical help possible. So that's how actually, I think uh, within two weeks, we reached Chennai. I reached Chennai with the donor, uh, my hmm. brother-in-law. Yeah. Both of us uh, came to meet Dr. Rela within two weeks after he was born. Hmm. That liver transplant was the only solution. So we did not want to waste any time. So we just came to Dr. Rela, asked his advice. And I think after that, it was all the process which happened and then finally the transplant happened. Uncle is the donor who Hi. donated. Are you well? I'm doing well. So, you know, after uh, seeing you, uh, all those memories came back when we first saw you and uh, we came up with our hopes, you know, low. But then when we met you, you said, let's do it. And uh, that just, you know, gave us, uh, you know, uh, the strength to it immediately, the uh, movement, logistics and the courage to go ahead. So it was your confidence and yeah. uh, the result is in front of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, nowadays we do the donor operations robotically. You won't even have a scar now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay. At that time, when we do your operation, we were not doing robotic operations, actually. Okay. But I think those scars are something which, you know... I wear proudly. I wear those scars very proudly. So. Yeah, okay. No, no, I feel, I think if we take it positively like that, that's pretty good, actually. Can you lift him up? Yes. I want to see him properly, close to the camera. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, good. Chocolate with water. Hello.